Two types of eye movements are under voluntary control, pursuit and saccades. As this subject follows a light, her eyes move smoothly and completely in normal pursuit. As our subject shifts her gaze from one stationary target to another, her eyes move rapidly and accurately in normal saccades. One eye movement is not under voluntary control, the vestibulo-ocular reflex. It is elicited by passive movement of the patient's head, often called the oculocephalic or doll's eye maneuver. With passive movement of our subject's head, her eyes move in an opposite direction. In subjects like her, who have normal pursuit eye movements, the oculocephalic maneuver is not meaningful. But in patients who have impaired pursuit and psychotic eye movements, this is a very valuable test. Here, for example, is a patient who has impaired voluntary eye movements. When he is instructed to pursue a moving target, his eyes move very little. When he is told to switch his gaze from one stationary light to another, his eyes hardly move. Look to your right, left, down, when this patient's head is passively moved in the oculocephalic maneuver, his eyes move much better than with pursuit or saccades. This dissociation between impaired voluntary eye movements, pursuit and saccades, and preserved involuntary eye movements, the vestibulo-ocular reflex, is called a supranuclear gaze palsy. It is observed in many cerebral disorders but most often in a degenerative condition called progressive supranuclear palsy. If a patient cannot move her eye in a particular direction, as you see here, the problem could be a tight eye muscle that is holding it back. One way to diagnose a tight eye muscle is a maneuver called forced ductions or passive ductions. The suction-duction device is handy for this. It is placed over the cornea of the anesthetized eye. If you encounter resistance as you move the eye, as you see here, the diagnosis is a tight eye muscle. 